or I'm gonna like flip out and do anything like that. I don't. I didn't do anything to it. It's just been a sore bitch. <gasps> I don't have enough key. Oh my god, can I get a key? Fuck, I don't have enough to trade in for a key. I want the gun. Damn it. I never knew about the scalping. I probably smashed it or tried to feed it a metal transformer. I mean, you give something like that to a kid and they're gonna put everything in its mouth. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. There were collectible cards that were a par parody of Cabbage Couch. Oh, the ca Garbage Pail Kids. I remember them. My mom wouldn't let me have them because they were like What's dark or something. I don't know. Um, What did it cost? It was keys. Fuck me. Are you kidding? That sucks. Boo. Anyways. I remember having a chemistry set with Mercury and... Oh my god, me too. Oh, I had the exact same chemistry set. I actually watched a special like on YouTube about those... It was a... Uh, hold on, I gotta move the mic closer because I'm hunching towards you guys. It was a special on Netflix and it was about... I think it was literally covering like, you know, toys that fucked kids up or whatever. It, it was covering something like that. And it talked about those fucking chemistry sets. And it's like, it's such a double caveat because... If it wasn't for that chemistry set, I might not have gone to school for chemistry. That being said, did any of us read the instructions in that chemistry set? Or did we just pull everything out and start mixing it together until something exploded or set on fire? Because option B was what Katie did. Which to choose? I don't know. Um, we're trying to two-star everything. I guess we'll go Drunk Daddy this time. Okay. Isn't this, what, isn't Drunk Daddy your favorite? Cheers. The volume will get louder. The volume's so weird in this game, it fluctuates a lot. But once we're in battle, it's going to get really loud. Don't worry. Right, Trouble? Well, that's the thing. Apparently, whatever this doll was, was on the inside, the motor was triggered by something being put into the doll's mouth. And then the doll would, like, do this chewing thing and somehow take it in. But it wouldn't stop until there was nothing in its mouth. So that was the problem with the hair is, you know, you just get to the scalp. There's still something. So it would still keep, like, arm, arm, oh, I don't even know. It's fucking terrifying. Cheers, by the way. <coughs> Did anybody have lawn darts? Because we definitely had those for a very short amount of time. <coughs> uh, Mr. Fox, thank you for hanging out with us today. I love you. Don't forget to brush your teeth is and your fizzle. Moisturize. I need to get one of those. I, I had one of those chemistry sets. The best experiment said, get your parents' supervision and permission before attempting this. Oh, never. I don't think my parents would have supervised me if I asked them to. They would have probably would have looked at me like I was stupid. Like, you're telling me we bought you a present that you need us to watch you play with? Get the fuck out. I was hitting the knee with one and it stuck. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God. I've never met someone who was actually hurt by one. Ah! Dude, if you're unfamiliar with what lawn darts were, this is a toy. I think it was literally made illegal in like the 80s, but people kept them. They had this toy. It was like a lawn game, kind of like horseshoes or something. But you would, I don't know. What do I want to take? Because I can't take the gun. We'll take the fist. Let's punch um, up You bit. would, literally, it was like, a dart with a steel spike and you would throw it in the air as high as you could and then everyone would just run around in circles trying to dodge it and then it would strike on the on the ground. I don't even remember what the fucking point of the game was, to be honest. They're fucking lethal, right? I mean, I'm sure they fell in someone's head at some point. Who knows? Go. You had lawn darts, the old metal ones too. Yes, so did we. So did we. My parents might still have them. I don't know. Oh, that is cold. Nerf guns are amazing. Last time I felt Lawn darts like were a steel oh, hazard. Surface. Like, they were a metal dart no, that would come flying from the sky. And, and the I mean, I can't believe you got one in your fucking I leg. Did you need... I'm so sorry. I just clicked I on an accident. I understand, young Zagreus, that you would seek to leave that bitter darkness for this bitter cold. Quite honestly, I fail to see why. But I'll aid your plight. Why not? For I can offer plenty of assistance. And you soon shall grow fond of it, I think. I don't know where my water is. I'll have to get it on my next break. I know, because it's the best game ever and I can't stop. It hurt like hell. Went to the hospital to get it removed from your kneecap. Ah, Buzz, what the fuck? Ouch. My heart hurts for you so much. Oh. 
You found it in the basement of your grandmother? <laughs> you were trying to hit the same place with them, but we always made it. Oh, yeah, it was just dodge the scary dart. Oh, my God. I mean, you're welcome, Lizzie. Like, you just kind of throw a giant metal thing in the air and try not to die. It was a very strange game. Most games humans play are pretty fucking weird, but that one was definitely up there. What did I take? I took the punch. Sure. Of the power of We're the freezing surface now. I, I, don't, I haven't even... Oh, hell yeah. I haven't even beat Hades I, once in this playthrough, so... Over time, mortals have come to fear Great Demeter, eldest of Olympians, goddess of seasons, bringer of plenty, and taker away of it. Oh my god, did you love it though, Excessive? No, Little Nightmares is one of the best games ever. Both of them, they're so fucking good. Did you love it? They banned them after it killed three kids in the 80s. I'm saying, why did anyone keep these? Why did anyone keep them? But all of our parents did. I don't know. They killed people. I don't know. Come and get it. I love the fists. They're probably my favorite. I love me some fists. Me too. Little Nightmares is so good. It's so unique and creepy. I think the first one scared me more, but they're both just fantastic. I don't know, man. They're both really fucking good. We kept, we kept them for a while because we wanted to see how right Darwin was. I mean, my parents... Uh, my parents had three-wheelers up until, fuck, maybe ten years ago. And three... When were three-wheelers uh, out of commission? We were a dirt bike family, so we had three-wheelers, four-wheelers dirt bikes little dirt bikes big we had it all but uh we definitely had three wheelers for a long time and we rolled those in very dangerous ways they are not safe like we didn't do it on we weren't rolling them on purpose but it was just they were so not steady that it was dumb easy to roll one i remember when i was about oh god my mouse when I was about seven, me and a couple friends were going exploring in the woods when our Vietnam our Vietnam vet neighbor said, in case you run into something dangerous out there, and handed us a full-size machete. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm glad you have your fingers, too. <laughs> the first one, I think, was scarier, but the second one had a darker story. 100% yes. The first one, maybe because the, I mean... The, like, geisha at the end? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. She scared the shit out of me so fucking good. Thrillers were death traps. Pretty sure they got banned in the 80s. Were they banned in the 80s? I wouldn't doubt it because ours looked like they were from the 80s. But we had, we just, we would take them, you know, when we went camping and shit, we would take them and go on the dunes and stuff with them. And they rolled. I mean, it was kind of like, if you took a three-wheeler, you just, you knew you were going to roll at some point and you were ready for it. They didn't, there was no not rolling a three-wheeler. The trick was, there's no trick, don't drive one. But I remember when we were kids, the trick was, like, don't go forward. You just don't want to roll ass over tea kettle because that's when you snap your neck. It was crazy. Like, our thought process was just, like, don't roll that way. <laughs> Three lures were not illegal, were not illegal to own AFK, but I'm pretty sure they were banned. They ba Yeah, I think that's what I said. That's what I meant by out of commission. I think Lost they were the just I've people returned. weren't allowed to manufacture them anymore, but I'm pretty sure you can still own them, but you probably shouldn't. Since we become acquainted with son of Hades, I shall make myself quite clear in one respect. I fear I have a lack of patience for discussion. When visiting, please merely listen and accept my mark, and then depart. Respond only when necessary, or when prompted. Yes. Did Chaos just become my dommy daddy? I'm getting really annoyed with this one website. I tried to change my password to Canada123 and the site goes, your password must contain a capital. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I went to Ottawa Canada123 and it still didn't take it. Stupid site probably thinks Toronto's... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, so the cons I have planned... I mean, none of them are, like, out yet. I'm not going to go to PAX East, probably, because that's way too soon, and I'm poor as fuck. But I wanted to lower my arm. Lower, bitch. Um, I think we're definitely going to Burning Man, if that's considered a con. We're going to Burning Man for sure. And I think I'm going to go to TwitchCon this year and maybe PAX West. Maybe. Just because that's where my parents live. It's easy. I get a, cheap, I get a free place to stay nearly listened so it's just like when i get those messages from the olympians 
Wait, oh, Robin, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. You? Or should I have remained silent? You're a burner now? in your soul, I know it. So many good reptile and exotic pet expos in 2023. I haven't even looked into them. That's one thing I have not even looked into for the year yet. You advice, but you were prompt to guess. You may speak freely then or any time, despite my wishes that you not do so. Absolute silence is my general preference. It may not be yours. Oh! Prophecy. For the next three encounters, you take 27 damage. After a dash strike, yes. Yes, please. So shall it be. I hate when they give you two amazing options. Like, why? What a fuck. I only, you know, honestly, I think I told you that, Spuds. The reptile expo I went to here that was in uh, Colorado this fall. It's the first reptile expo I've ever been to in my life. And it was pretty cool. I didn't get anything. Honestly, I just didn't see anything that I was like jonesing for that I didn't own, but it was really fun just to see all the exotics. Um, your special becomes a flying kick. Your attack has more range that one. The flying Six kick's stages. okay, but I don't understand how it's an advent. Like, it's not advantageous at all. Oh, you're gonna do like, I want to go to Electric Force. I follow their Instagram. I've followed their Instagram for so many years and never been. I must go someday. Come here, bitch. That's right, fucking hoe. Suck my dick! To the that felt good. Ooh, I can juice daddy. Wait, give me the option again. Give me the option again. <gasps> Dionysus, mate. Sometimes things weigh heavily on me, but then I hear from you and it's like I don't have a care in the world. To your health. You know, I've always wanted to go, go to Colossal Con. And so the reason I said maybe PAX West, I believe it's PAX West. If not, it's TwitchCon. I can't remember. But I've always wanted to go to Dragon Con in Atlanta. I've never gotten to go, even when I lived close by. I want to go so fucking bad, but it coincides with one of those cons. And so, just because I've never been, I really want to go. Like, why go to the same con every year when I can go to all these other different ones? And Dragon Con just seems like a fucking blast. I'd love to go to that one. Oh, you're really too much for me sometimes, you know that, man? Gotta tell you, I don't think I ever felt so close to somebody so damn far away. But through the gift of drink, it's like we're with each other in spirit all the time, you know? Yeah. Perhaps I ought to feel a kinship with this easygoing son of Zeus, for it is said that he has some mortal blood in him, not just divinity. This may explain why he among Olympians is so well loved by mortal kind, because he loves them back, bringing to them more joy than suffering for the most part. Dot, dot, dot. It looks like a fucking blast. The music alone blows me away. I, li I live about an hour from Boston and never been to PAX East. PAX East is pretty, it's, if you go to any PAX Kona, that one's the one to go to, 100%. It's uh, bigger, like the hall, the convention is just, the convention hall itself is bigger and feels way less claustrophobic. It's just, in my opinion, it's so much more comfortable there. PAX West is in Seattle and it's at the Seattle Convention Center, which is fine, but it's like, mul it's like uh, four towers is what the convention hall is broken into, broken up into, and then you have to cross across these like uh, sky bridges to go between any of them, and it just feels so broken up. I feel like I'm most of the time I'm there and just walking in circles and seeing the same thing over and over. It's not my favorite. Oh, really? You're right on the motor tracks. So you can check out um, any of the great downtown Atlanta restaurants. That's and that's the thing. I fucking Atlanta's beautiful. I've only been once, and it's one of my favorite places in the world. Seriously, it just has a good feeling. It, for me, at least. To each their own. Heard you wrestled with some satyrs near the surface, Zag. Nice work making it that far. And I just want to let you know that they are definitely not my crew, man. Mm -hmm. Satyrs I know aren't like that at all. Mm-hmm. The weekend after Electric Forest is Lakes of Fire, the regional burn, and half the time is spent picking up all the trash from EF. That is so sad. That makes me sad. I hope people. Uh, ooh, <gasps> prophecy! Cheers, mate. Now that I know how fucking hard Most they are to get, I'm taking all of them. Tartarus are sealed away even from other condemned souls. They're only visitors, those fool enough to attempt escape. You call me a Let's fool, do this bitch? Again sometime. Oh, <laughs> Zag's so cordial. Oh, con no. But the Wonder Gun channel is pretty fucking dope. He does a lot of really cool RP, and honestly, I love it. I've watched, I'm re-watching one of the shows right now, and it's highly entertaining. I greatly, I greatly suggest it. 
And the group that I'm going to be RPing with um, here in about a month is top-notch, fucking amazing human beings. Like, people that I know personally that are just uh, incredible. Like, it's What's going to be worth here? a moment, I swear. I swear! Not that I would ever tell you it wouldn't be, but for real. I'm so fucking excited. Just as a spoiler, LZT is one of them. I've never gotten to RP in a show with LZT. I am so fucking excited for that. How much money do I have? Yes, I want that. Should help keep me going. Nope. Trap seal, 500 damage to your... Yes, I want that. I've never been to Wastelands before. Like, honestly, like, I've just I never had a job time. where I've been able to take that kind of time off before. So, really, Burning Man's the only thing I've ever prioritized, which sucks. But I have... I want to see Wasteland someday. I've heard it's really cool. You sons... Oh, this is a survive one. I... These ones, they're fun, but honestly, I don't understand. Because you don't get anything extra for surviving. It's just... You just get a whole bunch of extra bad guys to try to kill, but you don't get anything special. Like, fucking reward me, bitch! No, that's a very good point. There is no ERP. It's all RP. I really like the way Sheepy runs his games, honestly. He runs them very uniquely in that there isn't a lot of, like... They don't focus on the rules or looking up shit in a book or roles so much as just, like, choice RP. And that's my jam. I'm so about the RP, man. That stuff's my my crack. Fine, get out. Like being able, getting the chance to RP an entire battle is my wet dream. Mine now. Seriously, again, no ERP. I'm just gross. But that would just bring me so much happy. <gasps> Ooh, what is it? Hold on. You saw I, Dungeon Alchemist is fucking sick. AI powered stuff. Oh my god. Well, that's going on my wish list immediately. Oh, that's sexual. Bring us. Those that game is well, game. Do you even call it a game? Dungeon Alchemist is basically where you can make dungeons for RP games and stuff. And you guys know I've been like casually writing my own game that I will eventually run someday, and I use it honestly to like visualize the world I'm building. And it is, it has no limits. It's kind of incredible. Among mortals, thievery is among the most despised of crimes, resulting on occasion in thieving hands being taken from their owners. <gasps> I didn't know that. Those were the hands of people that stole. As it turns out, they, they remain separated even here. That's so fucking sick. Wretch, wretched sneak. Oh, that's the one I just beat up. I'm unfit to judge those who in their mortal days made work of taking lives. In my case, such bloodshed was sanctioned, even honored as a necessary consequence of war. But there are those who took lives for no cause other than their personal gain. And now, even in death, they serve the highest bidder. Dark. You know, I've never karaoke before, but I want to someday. I have massive stage fright. I think I'd need a drink. Guess I got a break. But great done. Adventures in the map. It's, you could really do anything with it. Stream some of the world creation stuff on Steam. Oh, dude, I would. I mean, I... When did you get your hands on Malthon the Twin Fists? Hands in, I ought to say. I heard that one time, Demeter, she smacked her father right square in the face with those. Oh. That you can probably relate. That's beautiful. Um, I used to stream build. I really love builders, like game build builder games. I guess builder management games. I'm kind of a crackhead for, and I stream those all the time. And I don't know, man. I don't know why I stopped. I should stream the Dungeon Alchemist. They're pretty. It's it's like it's basically a builder game, but you don't you don't have to pay for anything. Like you just get every single resource, every single thing you could ever imagine, down to like you can build the dungeon, cater what the walls look like, what the floor looks like, and then you can put a table in, and then you can go even closer and put a tablecloth on, and then you can put plates and silverware individually, like place them individually where you want them. You can put cups. Oh, it's crazy how detailed you can get with it. It's pretty wild, but it's it's. It's a time sink. It's fun. I was gro I was tossed at a karaoke bar once for trying to get on stage and sing Danger Zone five times. Apparently, I was I had exceeded my logins attempts. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I tried to karaoke and then realized only knew the chorus of the song and it was bad. The only songs I can sing with my ability are Sinatra or Dean Martin. I mean, I definitely have a range. I try not to go out of it because it's just sad. But I think karaoke is mostly about the fun, not so much about how good you are at a song. That's what Zach tells me, anyways. He used to run a DJ or he was a the DJ, like a karaoke DJ. 
And he said the people who don't try to be good are the most fun. Which I get, honestly. I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, there we go. you know, showboats that want to get on stage and be impressive in the small town bar. Money! Mm, give me a palm. Give me that palm! Oh. Oh, okay. Power of Olympus. Dash or... Ooh, 69. How do I turn that down? God damn it. Oh, it's 140, though. I'm going to take that. Boss fight! I don't have enough life for this. this is, man. Just compared to my game I play on my own, Guessing it's crazy. Electo? <laughs> Electo? <gasps> Electo! So... Oh my god, a karaoke weed bar would be you know amazing. Red blood? In retrospect, I should have known this wasn't going to be a quick job. Right, Dragon, and that's what I would assume is have fun. Like I wouldn't try to be good. I would sing something ridiculous and have fun. They say or both try. gods and mortals are notoriously poor at estimating how long it takes to get anything done. I'm gonna cheers before this fight, because she's the hard in my opinion, she's the hardest of the sisters. Normally when I'm on the job, they grovel, then they scream. They shut up eventually, but not you. At least, not yet. <laughs> JJ, I believe it. I, I truly believe it. My arm, stay. Hold on, Electo. Wait a minute. My Mark arm is just like, I don't know. It just won't stay anymore. Stay. Okay. It's just all day has been creeping up slowly. Ready? No. Ah, oh, fuck. I wasted my call. Maybe I will beat her. This isn't bad. <coughs> she said, damn it. You made a cuss. Mom said those are bad words. <laughs> Bitch. Ow. That's the fastest I've ever slaughtered her on this run, ever. That was sick. Get out. You know what's sad is we used to be able to, well, we didn't necessarily stream karaoke, but I used to stream and just like play music and dance and sing and have fun with the community all the time. And then the fucking DMCAing happened where music became like illegal because sound waves Electo or whatever. Failed, it's so stupid. Just as her sister did. Off to ask for them. <coughs> Rabbit Ray. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. This is your day to have a lot of fun. We're waiting for the celebrating. This is your day, so happy birthday to you. Ooh. I cannot believe I didn't crack one time after taking a huge hit and no drink. Happy birthday, Rabbit. I love you. How is your birthday so far? Is it? I hope it's relaxing and you eat something fucking delicious. How are you? Nope, we're staying with Drunk Daddy. I'm on the wrong screen. Happy birthday, my love. You know what's crazy? That song, I think my family invented it. It's weird. I have no idea. I've never, no one can tell me where that song comes from. My family sings it every year to anybody. The happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. This is your day to have a lot of fun. They sing it to each other, but I have never heard it outside of my family ever. I don't know where it comes from. I've shazammed it. I don't know. It's mine. It's mine now. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my money. Let's wait for Karen. Nowhere to go but up. You've only been conscious for half an hour. Um, I mean, I think you and I can both agree that sometimes those are the best days, yeah? <laughs> the ones that you're completely unconscious for. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Uh, oh, I think I bought the fishing rod last time too, so we gotta look for fishing spots. I'll look at the overhang. One day, Simba. This place has definitely seen better days. Oh, nights? It's family tradition, seriously. Same with Wrinkle Rummy. It's a version of Rummy that my Nana taught me and my family plays. I've taught everyone I've ever known, but I cannot find a record of this game existing outside my Nana. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe they're Irish. Cake, are these Irish things? That's where my Nana's from. She's from Cork, though. Maybe it's a, I don't know. I have no idea. It's so weird. But that's why I sing that song instead of the normal happy birthday song. 
because I think that one, I mean, it might be common property now, but... Right, considering the sleep fuckery that insomnia causes, sleep is a same though, dude. Sleep is a gift. I always tell Zach that, like, he, we just had this conversation again recently. I was like, if I'm ever asleep, and like you made food or dinners here or we ordered out or something, don't wake me up. Like, I'm fine, I'm asleep. And he's Almost like, what? You don't wanna be woken up for food? And it's like, I don't, it's so hard to explain to someone who doesn't suffer chronic insomnia that sleep is a blessing and a gift. And when it happens, you leave me alone. You leave me in it. I don't want the work. Oh my God. The one of the number one like pet peeves of mine when it comes to people is someone who you say they're like a, your significant other who you live with. Like you're going to sleep in the same house. You're watching a movie together and you fall asleep and they go, are you asleep? Hey, are you sleeping? Hey, are you sleeping? I'm going to bite your dick off if my mouth is near it. If you ever do that to me, yes, I am. And it's precious. Leave me alone. Oh my God, why do people do that? Oh. The dead in Tartarus are here in general because, because they did not deserve a noble death. They were knaves, scoundrels, cutthroats, the worst that mortals have to offer. Even now, reduced merely to shades, they're compelled by evil thoughts and take to brandishing about crude weapons washed down by the river sticks. That's depressing. Bloody. Your family's from Cork too? That's dope. My family's come up with a bunch of weird traditions, phrases, same, it's so, and, and they're so normal to you, because you're like, everyone in your family knows them. But then you go outside of it and you're like, oh, just kidding, guess we're weird. Oh my God, thank fuck you have a sleep CPAP though. I lost a friend at the age of 36. She died, at, she passed out on her couch, took a nap and died at 36 because she didn't have a CPAP, so scary. In the same way, when my son was born, I fell asleep in the middle of the conversation. My wife woke me up. Wait, woke me up to let me continue my thought. I told her never do that again. If I'm that tired, nothing I'm talking about makes sense anyway. Same, same, nothing is more important. Just let me go. <laughs> my husband does not understand this at all. And I swear one day I'm gonna break his nose. Same, Zach has learned. Zach is, has learned at this point. Like we've literally moved in together the weekend of COVID shutdown and we both work from home. There's never a moment that I don't hear him and he doesn't hear me. We are 24 seven inundated in each other's presences. And without adjusting our behaviors, we would have never survived this. And he's learned that if he finds me asleep somewhere, it's no touchy. He actually will take the dogs. Like he'll usher the dogs silently in another room and shut the door. Like he's like, leave the dragon. She's passed. Cause it just doesn't happen. You know, like it's such a precious time. Leave me alone. <laughs> and it's not that I don't want to eat and I don't want to hang out, but like sleep, man. I don't get a choice when it comes to that. That's just so, it's such a gift when it happens. Let me, let me have this one thing. No movie, no convert, like, I, miss. I mean, maybe there's a conversation, but so few conversations are more important than me getting a good night's sleep. I got the message that you need assistance, Sagrius. My husband has done that if we're watching something. Same. And I'm like, babe, it's Netflix. I'll catch up. Don't touch me! I'll make this quick. That was my plan. I hate these matches. I've only beat him once, and it's so fucking annoying. He's such a little fucking privileged piece of shit. No! Ugh. God damn it. Although, I mean, I guess he becomes not that bad eventually. God damn it. He got one. I lost! Not really, but kind of. You. Come here, little snake fucks. Come over here. Don't be in his purple ring of death. Damn you. That's right. Hello, I fucking hate those matches. Although you do get. Oh fuck. Take... Hey, uh, could you do a little I took the wrong one. My brothers, sisters, family, and whatnot. They're unaware I'm working with you here. It's no big deal, but let's keep it that way for now. All right. <gasps> Okay, so I've pointed this out before on stream, but apparently I, I have to point it out again because no one's noticed it. If you look in his bag, there's a tiny little turtle. Which is hilarious because he's like the god of speed.